What is a BDC? In its simplest form, a BDC is an investment fund structure. More specifically, it's a 40-act fund that lends to private companies. The characterization of BDCs can be broken down into three components. First, a BDC is a lender. It raises capital from institutional and retail investors and lends or invests that capital into private companies. Second, a BDC is an SEC registered fund meaning it files quarterly financials and operates with a very high degree of transparency in terms of everything that it owns. In other words, what you see is very much what you get. And third, a BDC is a dividend payer. BDCs are required to distribute roughly 90% of their investment earnings to shareholders in the form of a dividend. This is reported on a 1099 rather than a K-1. Why might investors want to consider BDCs? BDCs are essentially vehicles that provide access to the private credit asset class. And there are three key reasons investors tend to focus on this industry. One is diversification. The directly originated corporate loans found in BDC portfolios tend to generate returns that are less correlated with traditional stock and bond portfolios. This low correlation coupled with the historically low volatility of the private credit asset class offers an opportunity for investors to increase portfolio returns without increasing risk. Another is dividends. BDCs pay their returns in the form of a cash 1099 ordinary dividend. And many investors value that quarterly or monthly payment as part of their investment portfolio. And a final reason many investors turn to BDCs is the potential for downside protection. BDCs generally focus on the very top first lien portion of the capital structure, which can limit downside given the significant first loss protection below first lien lenders. And of course, BDC portfolios generally consist of floating rate loans, meaning they can serve as a natural hedge against inflation and higher rates.